guys, so I'm going to be showing you some quick things that you can add to your normal leg day. This right here is just a quick warm up. You usually do these after some jump rope and dynamic stretching. I saw this craziness on Instagram, I had to give it a shot. I absolutely fell in love with it and definitely kept it in my program. What I saw on Instagram was done on the floor, but I decided to do it on the bench uh, just because of the way our Smith machine is set up. Basically pushing up with your bottom foot, um, and propelling yourself against the Smith machine. It's really cool, you just have to give it a shot. So back in the day, we used to have this cool ass sissy squat machine. Loved it, and then one day it just disappeared. Thanks to a wonderful YouTuber, they gave me the idea of using the leg extension machine. Um, put it on the highest weight possible, get between the um, leg part and the seated part, and then you can use that as your sissy squat. Genius! These are killer on your quads. I absolutely love them. Front squats, we know them, we love them. We've seen me do videos of them before, but this time I supersetted them with a different type of lunge. The second time I'm not showing you all my reps, just want to give you an idea of all of these exercises. So basically you're in the front squat position with your arms, but you're lunging back. It definitely helps you with keeping your back straight during the lunges if that is an issue that you have. First week I tried this superset, I did it without any shoes on because at the time that's what I needed for my front squats, but that super hurt when I did the lunges. So this week I put some shoes on for my lunges. <laughs> it definitely felt much better. I tried something else different and I did all the reps on one leg first and then switched to the other leg. That was cool too. Are you listening? Damn. After that, I tried something else different. I did all my squats first and then all my lunges or vice versa or whatever. I just keep switching up so I don't get bored to see how I like it. I also stole these from Instagram. A guy I followed, he unfollowed me, so I unfollowed him after I stole this exercise. So thanks. I love it because I can really concentrate on getting my thighs as parallel as possible and my knee as close to the ground as possible. I basically either concentrate on going heavier or going lower. If 
you don't know, now you know I suck at pistol squats. So I saw this modified version on YouTube. Um, the first week did pretty okay. Um, relied on the band a little bit too much. I was really excited that I started getting a little bit lower. So I'm just gonna keep on practicing. Hopefully I'll get better at doing pistol squats without any help, maybe someday, hopefully. Here's another one I stole from Instagram. Unfortunately, our tire is attached to the wall, so I currently have so much mobility, but I gave it a shot. It was really cool if our tire wasn't attached to a chain. Whole video on YouTube about these hip thrusts, so I'm not gonna get too much into them, but basically, I absolutely love them. Again, these are a different variation from the Smith one. After I learned how to do the Smith ones, I kind of abandoned these, but I absolutely love them and I might go back to them soon. Another idea stolen from Instagram. I've done step ups before, I've done kickbacks before. I don't know why I never thought to put them together. I put them together and they are awesome. The barbell started to get a little awkward to take on and off, so I started trying it with actual plates. I just used my straps to hold the plates, um, and it's pretty cool this way. Romanian deadlifts are different from stiff leg deadlifts. Look for a Physiques of Greatness video on them. I absolutely love this exercise. It burns so good. I usually do a few normal reps and then I burn it out with um, pulses at the end. It's absolutely lovely. I love the burn. We have a video up on YouTube about this exercise, but just in case you missed it, these are awesome. Everybody knows how to do a kickback. Um, hopefully you have a attachment like this at your gym. If you don't, I bought a Harbinger ankle padded cuff from Amazon. It is absolutely fabulous. You will feel the burn. I do this with a FST7 to really get the burn um, in my hamstrings. Love it. Before my workout, after my workout, during my workout, in between sets, I pull out my jump rope. It's usually because I love the music I'm listening to, uh, whether it be hip hop, ratchet, uh, hard rock, whatever it is. I love, love to get the dance out of me by doing some jump rope. So this is just a quick video. I have some other ones up. Me doing a little jump rope. I'm getting better and better. a great leg day you gotta stretch here's a quick combination that i usually do after my leg days it feels great me and my boo are on two totally different lifting programs so it's always nice when i run into him in a section of the gym This day, we ran into each other doing squats, so just threw this clip in here, just for fun.
he had a case of I can do that too so he joined me on the treadmill if you know Mike White you know Mike White does not do cardio <laughs> so this was a treat <laughs> Stopping us, fly without boarding pass. Couldn't catch me, I'll be moving fast. Call me a shooting star. Let them know who you are. Huh? Flying up and above. Huh? Wish I was a star. Huh? Time to show them who's in charge. Call me a shooting star. Tell them I'd be big in a game like she went and got them breast implants I said I'm moving too fast, didn't even get a glance I'm ready to eat up track like I'm seated in a restaurant yeah. If you had swag like mine, you know it's best to flaunt yeah. uh -huh. We aren't, hating because you aren't Shining like it's neon, rock like kings of neon Shooting stars across the galaxy I stand out so don't be mad at me Too far. 